Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you the new options we have available in modern Serpon Online sites to change the look. Here I am in a communication site in Serpon Online and if I click on the site settings uh, option and I go to the change the look option, here is where I can see the new options I have available to change the look on my modern Serpon Online site. Basically, as you can see here, we can change four different things. We can change the theme. This is something we already had before. Uh, we can change the header, we can change navigation, and we can change the footer. Let's go to each one of these options. So first of all, we can uh, choose to change the theme. As I say, this is just a classic occasion we already have in Serpent Online. So I can change the theme to any of the available themes or even a pay, a custom one, just in case I have one. That's not the case. So I'm going to choose, for instance, this green one. Perfect. What I can do now is just to apply the changes. One thing that I don't like that bothers me is that I click on apply and I'm not going back to the uh, general uh, settings in the change look options we have in Serpent Online. So I have to remember that this is something that I have to do by myself because I need to save my changes. Okay, that's not a problem. I think Microsoft is going to improve, to improve this user experience at some point. So next thing we can do is just to change the header. So, as you can see here, we can change the uh, layout of uh, the site header. But we can choose between the standard. Actually, this is the default option. Or we can choose the compact one. Compact one means that uh, we are going to narrow the header of the site. And as you can see, we can also change the background of both headers. Why I say both headers? Because in this case, I'm uh, just modifying the look of a uh, hub site. So I have two backgrounds and where I can apply different colors. I have four options, basically no color, and then uh, these three uh, possibilities. So for instance, if I choose this one, as you can see here, I'm changing the background of the site navigation and the background of the hub site navigation. And the same with the other options we have. Obviously, the background color is just is directly related to the theme I chose before. I chose before. So yeah, I'm going to put just the neutral gun, and I'm going to go back to the standard layout for the header. So uh, again, in order to uh, save your changes, you need to click on the prime button, and then uh, remember you have to go back and then save. The next thing I can do is just to change the navigation options. Basically, here you have two possibilities. The famous Mega Menu, that actually is the uh, option I have in this site because I was already, I was playing uh, before with the settings I have in the new Change the Look, change the look menu. And you can uh, just uh, choose the cascading option. So if I click on Apply and I go to my uh, menu, as you can see here, this is just a cascade. The, in this case, I had three navigation levels. This is the second level, and then I have another one here. That, yeah, it's not very user friendly. And the other thing I can do is just to choose the mega menu. That uh, is very useful if I have a lot of links in the navi in the navigation of my site. So if I select this and I click on apply. Here we go. This is the mega menu. Okay, I don't have a lot of links here, but I think you can uh, make an idea yourself about the um, yeah about how useful is this mega menu. Again, I have to go back uh, to the change the look settings, and final thing I can do here is just to change the footer. As you can see here, uh, uh, I was already playing uh, with this option, so that's the reason I already have configured the uh, the footer on my on my site. Uh, basically, you can decide if uh, your footer is going to be visible or not. So if you, uh, you, if you decide to disable the footer, you are going to yes, uh, uh, change the visibility to off for all the elements that are part of the, of the footer. If you click on, you can choose the logo you want to place on your uh, footer. And then you can also go burn uh, if you want to uh, display or not the footer name visibility. I already typed uh, yeah, some words, and uh, yeah, you can decide if uh, you want to display or not. And the last thing you can do here is just to edit through the navigation links. So, in my case, I have already I already have two links. It's fine. So again, if you click on apply, and you wonder what is the footer, yeah, you have to scroll down in your site, and here it is. 
So uh, yeah, let's close this side panel uh, for setting the navigation. And here you have the logo, you have the uh, footer name. And if you go back and save your changes in all the change the look uh, option, you have also the links on the footer. And that's all. I hope you have found this video interesting about the new options we have in the change the look uh, setting in modern Serp online sites. Um, yeah, talk to you soon. Bye bye.